Sometimes, the critics just get it wrong. I guess so. Oh, come on! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down the top 10 good animated movies that received bad scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Today, we're gonna blow this dump. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, a movie needs to be considered rotten by Rotten Tomatoes' own standards as of October 2017, meaning that less than 60% of critics gave it favorable reviews, no matter how loved it was by fans. Number 10, The Black Cauldron. Please, master, not go into Evil Cauldron. Coming from the so-called Disney Dark Age, between Walt Disney's death and the 1990s Renaissance, The Black Cauldron was one of the biggest financial and critical failures for Disney to that point. Adapted from the novels in the Chronicles of Prodain series, the film featured much darker themes than Disney had been associated with, including the frightening villain, The Horned King, played by John Hurt. Now, Pinkkeeper, you shall die. Even after multiple edits, it still became the first Disney film to receive a PG rating. While initially receiving mixed reviews because of this, later audiences came to have a deeper appreciation for the film. You better be telling the truth. Number 9, The Polar Express. I... I want to believe. As with the likewise underappreciated Christmas Carol starring Jim Carrey, this modern Christmas classic features a respected actor via motion capture. In this case, however, it was a number of roles, as Tom Hanks appears as a variety of characters, but Hanks' star power didn't sway everyone. Complaints were aimed at the animation quality, particularly of the character's eyes, as well as stretching a short children's book into a full-length film. This is all just a dream? Of course, the film's technical and storytelling achievements far outweighed its shortcomings. A pioneering film for motion capture, it was also hailed by some as being much deeper and interesting than many children's Christmas films. Well, you coming? Number 8, Balto. My name's Balto. Based on a true story, this movie told the heroic tale of the sled dog that brought much needed medicine to Nome, Alaska in 1925. The adaptation gave voices to wolf dog Balto and other animals, and also took a few creative liberties, with the end result being a meaningful but fun film that kids and parents could enjoy. Going on alone? Won't be the first time. Unfortunately, it was also released in the shadow of Toy Story, and it suffered negatively by comparison to Pixar's beloved Game Changer, both at the box office and with critics. Still, Balto was a hit elsewhere, and found a strong second life on home video. A dog cannot make this journey alone, but maybe a wolf can. Number 7, Madagascar. Welcome to Madagascar. Madagascar is a film that has aged surprisingly well, and is much more appreciated today than when it was first released in 2005. Evidence of this can be seen in the unusual occurrence of its sequels receiving more and more critical approval. Nature! It's all over me! Get it off! While the first only received an underwhelming 55%, the second got 64 and the last in the trilogy, 79%. Despite the numbers, the first film was just as strong as its sequels, even if critics were slow to warm up to it. Make me come up there, I'd get the whooping on both of y'all. Unlike many critics, the fans didn't need years to appreciate Madagascar, with kids and parents alike praising it from go. Cute and cuddly, boys. Cute and cuddly. Number six, a goofy movie. This isn't just my vacation. It's a vacation with me and my best buddy. Oh, Donald Duck. Unsurprisingly, a goofy movie is absolutely hilarious and full of good-natured fun. It also features a surprisingly touching single father-son dynamic and brilliantly captures the awkwardness of high school. You look just like I did at your age. Please don't say that, Dad. Despite this, critics were almost evenly split. While some were not sold on frequent supporting character Goofy as a lead, others appreciated the surprising depth brought to the character. You're my son, Max. No matter how big you get. And while these factors have all helped to ensure its continued popularity, perhaps what stuck most with its now adult fans is its great soundtrack. Because, after all, who doesn't love Powerline? It's only Powerline, Dad, the biggest rock star on the planet. Number 5, Space Jam. Guys are nuts. Correction, where are you, the Looney Tunes? The Looney Tunes? Michael Jordan? Bill Murray? What's not to love? Well, quite a lot, actually. According to some critics, anyway. Space Jam holds a lowly 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. However, not all critics felt the film was without merit, as Joel Siegel, Roger Ebert, Leonard Moulton, and a number of other respected film critics praised it for being the fun movie it was. Who are these guys? Well, uh, remember the tiny aliens I told you about? Its mashup of traditional animation and live action won over both sports fans and Bugs Bunny fans, resulting in a box office haul of $230.3 million, making it to this day the highest grossing basketball film of all time. It's mine! Today. Number 4, The Road to El Dorado. El Dorado. 
This animated adventure musical is one of the most fun and heartwarming films of its era, and it is downright hilarious to boot, following a pair of Spanish conmen who accidentally make their way to the New World and encounter the people of El Dorado who mistake them for gods, it should have been impossible not to love. Look, El Dorado, the city of gold. A cast of interesting supporting characters, impressive animation, and music by Elton John and Hans Zimmer further elevate the film. Sadly, more than half the critics at the time inexplicably failed to appreciate the film, dropping it below 50% on the tomato meter. Oh, come on! Number three, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Welcome to the city of Atlantis. Critics of this Disney flick include its lack of songs, anti-capitalist message, and its overall more mature themes, which resulted in an undeserving 49% freshness. However, many of these criticisms are what made young fans become even more enamored with it as adults. An impressive amount of work went into the film and its shows, with a unique visual style of Mike Mignola, and inspirations derived from Jules Verne. Looks like all our chances for survival rest with you, Mr. Thatch. Atlantis also boasts a complex language created just for the film, as well as an all-star cast including Michael J. Fox, James Garner, and Leonard Nimoy. Fans consider it to be one of the best action-adventure animated films of all time, and we're inclined to agree. Nobody got hurt. Well, maybe somebody got hurt, but nobody we knew. Number two, Robin Hood. This will be my greatest performance. Disney is well known for taking classic tales and updating them in unique and interesting ways. And this take on the classic story of the legendary archer featuring anthropomorphized animals is no exception. I'm gonna win that golden arrow, and then I'm gonna present myself to the lovely maid Mary. Listen, Scissor Bill. Robin Hood was, however, the first animated Disney film not personally approved by Walt himself. As a result, it drew its share of unfair criticism, stating it couldn't hold up to previous Disney films. Hey, who's driving this flying umbrella? Despite this bias, Robin Hood has remained one of the most popular Disney animated films for decades, even outshining many of those that came before it. Oh, he's so handsome, just like his reward posters. Before we reveal our number one picks, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, I wish I had wings. Maybe someday you will. Tell me, do you dream of being a vampire? This is how we're represented. Unbelievable. What are you guys anyway? Dinosaurs, actually. Dinosaurs, huh? You do got that look, I mean. Number one. Pocahontas. If you kill him, you'll have to kill me too. One of the most famous films to come out of Disney's 90s renaissance shockingly holds a rotten rating, despite a stellar showing at the box office and audience acclaim. Following the clash between European colonists and Native American people, the film criticized greed and warmongering. It was monumental for a number of reasons, including Disney's first Native American princess and interracial romance. I can't leave you. You never will. While it is overall a serious critique of racial prejudice, it's not without lighthearted moments and some of the best Disney sidekicks. Its beautiful score also earned an Oscar award, as did the iconic song, Colors of the Wind. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.